G'day there mate, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing the story of Dark Chronicle. So in our previous episode, we made our way further into the uh, Ocean's Raw Cave and found the ancient mule that depicted of a uh, fallen moon. But at the same time, Shingala has went violent because she's been mind controlled by something. So today, we are going to find a way to see Shingala. And at the same station, Gala. And so we can continue onward. And if I ramble it, let's get started, shall we? Now, the first order of business we're going to do is uh, head to the train because we're going to need to get some sticky clay. Because we're going to need to build a. Um, <clears throat> what do they call it again? Uh, a pot porch. That's right. I thought I looked at that. No, I must have forgot to save properly. Oh wait, don't tell me I didn't go to... I think I may have forgotten to go to the lunar... Go to the uh, ancient save after I went to the ancient muir. Something or other, I, I don't know. Well, too late for that now, so... Let's see... If I did forget to a save after I did that, I could just go back and, uh... Just skip it all and come back here. So, first order of business, where is the pump porch? Here we are. Oh, never mind, we can actually build it straight away. So, pump torch... And these would be near the red house, so... Place it right here. Okay, move people in and uh, clear. Okay, so that's done. Though we still need to get some more culture points, and we're only at 17. Now, I'm normally trying to avoid doing this, but uh, I'm gonna have to have a look at the wiki page to see what else we need here. Yeah. So, just give me two sex guys. And by the looks of it, it looks like we need a... Another two iron houses, so... Yeah. But they'll only get me up to... Um, use your head, man. Use your head. 27. So, I'm still going to need three more culture points there. And this is going to be a workaround. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so... And does it say who else needs to go in here? Hold on a quick step, guys. Uh, is there a windmill here? I'm pretty sure I had one. But a very... No. I thought that we picked up a windmill before. I thought I was pretty sure we did. Yeah, <sighs> goodness me. I've done a bit of work to do. So first off, I think I'll just get started on making the uh, other two iron houses. And it looks like we're going to need 25 scrap metal first, so... <laughs> Never gets any easier, does it, people? No, it does not. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to build another one of these as well. 
Okay, so let's quickly head back and uh, get some scrap metal, shall we? I'm just spending the first bit of my episode just wandering around like a headless chicken. <laughs> then again, don't I always start things out like that? Yeah, pretty much a day. Okay, so scrap metal, here we are, uh, 25, then, and bing, excuse me, okay, so, I think that's it for now, so let's get out of here. Now, other than the iron houses, I'm not going to spoil anything else yet. And the other boat we need. And if push comes to shove, I'll have to make a three, two more uh, boats just to get enough culture points. Because, by the rules of being, we're going to be needing a, a lot of culture points. Goodness gracious. Okay, so make, no, not the church. Okay, so place. Does he even have any people who wants to move in? Alrighty, uh, let's see. Shot boat. There's been a change in the future. Let's go have a look, shall we? Oh yeah, the uh, time gate is just up there. Alrighty, so we got two buildings and one hey, a building. Let's go check it out. Sounds good. Looks like there's another lab now. Let's go inside. Maybe someone's home. <laughs> Alrighty, so by the looks of things, we got about uh, five miracle chests left. So, let's see, we got um, three fruits of Eden and a potato pie and uh, which parfait. So let's have a quick look around for them. So we found one here. So that's the potato pie and who's this? Neither words cannot describe the greatness of Luna Lab. You must witness it with your own eyes. Thanks for that. Okay, and here. We've got a Fruit of Eden, so that's one out of three. At least they're a bit easier to spot this time around. <laughs> okay, so let's have a good look, shall we? We'll go check out the red bit, red building first, so... <clears throat> let's do just that. Whew, just love the music here. Ah, there's one over there. And we got, drum roll please, another fruit of Eden. And first, uh, I think, yeah, I see one over there, so let's grab that one as well. Got the butch path, eh? I think we're only just missing just one more now, so it should be on the path to the red lap here. Yep. 
yes it is. Okay, so if I got this right, should be... We've got four fruits of Eden now. Yep. And the potato pie and the witch parfait. Here we are, so get this to Matt. Get this to Veronica. One for Max. Make that two, sorry. And then two for Veronica. Okay, so both their health should be at a 104 now. The view of the sea from this lab is amazing. Far off the horizon, the darkness of the sea and the darkness of the sky exist as one. It's kind of poetic. Poetic. Yeah, I can't see. Does he look familiar, guys? <laughs> Are you a little lab researcher? Indeed. I'm Osmond, and I'm one of the top researchers at Lunar Lab. Can I help you? Really? That's great. We need your help. Could you lend us a hand? My hand? Oh, here you are. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. So this sea dragon is under mind control. Well, in that case, we'll have to short out the device that's attached to its head. Yeah, shorting it out would work, but how? Hmm, to do that, there's an old invention that I think may help. An electric worm. Yeah. Electric worm? How do we use that? Feed it to the dragon. When he eats this worm, it'll send a strong electric pulse that'll short out the device on his head. Great! Hey, wait a minute. Do Shigura even eat worms? Hmm. Good point. Shigura definitely eats fish, but maybe not worms. Hmm. In that case, feed the worm to a fish first. Then feed the fish to the Shigura. How's that? Sounds good. But wait, how are we going to get a fish to eat that worm thing? Do you always have to be so negative? I bet you don't have too many friends. Oh my god. Did you really have to go there? That's not true. First you catch a fish, right? And then what you need to get the fish to eat the electric worm is... an aquarium. Mm -hmm. Fish pick and choose their bait when you're fishing, but in an aquarium, they'll eat almost anything. Oh, so you've already got the plans for an aquarium. Then all you need now are the materials. Once you've made the aquarium, feed the electric worm to a fish in it. Then feed the electrically charged fish to the Shigura. Simple, isn't it? Good luck. Bye then. Hope it works. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Osman. Okay, that's a bit of a type right there. So we've got the electric worm. Something I never thought I would hear myself say. <laughs> so I don't have to repeat that cutscene, so that's good. Yeah, we already know that. Uh, what do you have? We already talked to you, mate. Some researchers criticize our designs here at Lunar Lab. I think they're pretty nifty myself. At any rate, I seem to be in a minority minority on this matter. Cussing. It's some big words that I have trouble with, okay? I'm sorry. Whether it's Osmond or the head of the lab, there are just way too many weirdos here. <laughs> oh my god. What's that? You guys want to be resources too? It's no piece of cake getting in here. You know, the competition's fierce. I can believe that. Okay, so... I can't lie. Yes, I had... Yes, I too had a hand in the electrical worm research problem. Now, I'm working on a new project. 
Hey, I can't tell you what it is. It's top secret. I can't just go blabbing into the whole world. Well, that's a bit true. <laughs> I forgot how fun it is just to talk regular folk to uh, NPCs. Okay, so we already have the plants for our aquarium. We just need to get the materials to uh, make it. So luckily... <clears throat> so if you haven't already gone over in the tips and tricks guide, I will uh, read it out to you again. So the ideas you need for the... Um, to make the aquarium... One moment. Ugh, sorry, my steering is terrible when I'm doing two things at once. <laughs> uh, okay, where do I go? Uh, Inventions. Here we are. <clears throat> it won't open. Let's try again later. Oh, okay. Never mind then. This is a uh, lab number two. And Lunar Lab, each laboratory has its own area of research. Okay, so that's actually interesting. Anyway, to build the aquarium, you're going to need... Uh, the, the three ideas you're going to be needing are the fountain, the window and the wooden box, all of which you can probably can get in the chapter one, yes. And you can find all of them back at uh, Palm Springs, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. So it looks like I'm going to have to be uh, doing a bit of fishing. Just great. But uh, before I start doing that, I'm going to try and uh, get the materials for the aquarium first. So let's just see what we need. Okay, for the aquarium we need... Oh! Never mind! Okay! Now... Once I catch a fish, I'll discuss how the aquarium works. So just, uh... Let's go, just go catch one. Sound good? Okay, cool. I think we're gonna have to start building some platforms that go, go here. I'm not 100% sure you can put a... Well, maybe you can. I will be right back, guys. I'm just going to try and do some rearranging real quick, so... Be back shortly. Alrighty, I'm back, folks. And, yes, it looks like you can actually attempt to dock the pier, sorry, to the main area here. Should have checked that out in the first place, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to move everyone back in again, so... <clears throat> and finally, Donnie. Thank you for that. Okay, so... Yeah, we're back up to 32. Alrighty, now that we have the aquarium, let's start doing some fishing real quick. So, next... Let's try the uh, lure rod out now. I don't think you need to put bait on here. But you need to... You need to buy lures for that actually, so... On second floor, let's just stick with the uh, regular fishing rod at the moment. So... we got plenty of these, so... Now, with a, you can just select any, get any fish you want, when, in regards to the electric worm. This is going to take a bit of a while, guys. But uh, yeah, in regards to what fish to feed the electric worm to, you can just feed it to any fish you catch. Really in. That's fine. This is going to take a bit. But, uh, yeah, uh, one more thing I should mention is that, uh, the oh, order.
Ooh, that's a big boy. Uh, now, as I was saying, there's a new mini game that will be unlocked as you progress through the uh, Ocean's Raw Cave here. It's not a fishing mini game, so. Anyway. It may look like he's half smiling, but he really isn't. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is grab him with square and uh, place him into the uh, aquarium here. When you examine, you can see all the fish you caught here in a 3D view. Which is really nice. <laughs> okay, so now we have the options to view the fish's parameter. And it gives us all the stats about the fish here. I think fishing friendly is a diff. Now that I think about it, I think fishing friendly is a different thing entirely. I don't know, but you can have all these options here: to feed it, name it, name the fish, remove it from the tank, move to another tank, or look into another tank. So yeah, you can make uh, multiple aquariums. But for now, let's just feed it at the uh, electrical worm here. So here you go. Yep, bought at the electric worm and was shocked. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you see the electric symbols in its eye now? Good gravy. Oh no, 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 I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> now, what you want to do is to take it out of the uh, fishing tank. Oh, uh, you can't do that yet. My bad, I thought you had to take it out. Alrighty, now that that that's done, let's uh, well, cook the cook this. Uh, I think that let's just come check in with Donnie real quick because I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a couple more scoops for us right now. Because I know that there's a miserable scoop up ahead. Oh wow! I want to I want the secret base is okay. I wish I could ask someone to check it out, but it's a secret, you know? Well, you could ask us. Three more scoops? Yeah, 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 right now. Okay, let's check out what those scoops are real quick. Okay, inside scoop. Uh, okay, Puppet Shingala. Cash Shingala being controlled in the heat of battle. It's quite a sight. So, yeah. Make sure you get that symbol of Lunar Lab. We'll be getting that too. Uh, evening Sun. So we're gonna have to do that later on. And the Ancient Mural, mural here. And finally, there's the Surviving Soldier. I will have to find out what that one is again. So. Actually, I think it's close to evening now. Oh no, it's early morning. My bad. We'll do that later on. So. Head to the uh, cave of ancient murals. Dragon of the Sea, Shingala. Max, put the electric fish in Shingala's mouth. I'll do my best. Alright, but before we do that... Oh, there's the electric fish there. Papa Shingala. Ow! Okay, so... No, 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 you don't want to attack him. Sorry, I'm just... And after all that, we still get take a lot of damage. So, let's like we'll pick up anything else. Oh, give me a chance! Right, so... Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so we need to wait for the uh, wait for the open our mouth. If you didn't push the guy like he he'll get angry and head right for you. He'll have to you'll have his mouth wide open then. There's your chance to throw the electric fish right in. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to be uh gonna have to hush him down a little bit. Uh, 
and throw. He's really exhausted. We'd better get him back to the water. What are you doing following us in your condition? Huh? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? <laughs> What am I gonna do with you? Max, Monica, I have a favor to ask. Go to the seashore where the other Shigura are and bring back some medicine that will work on Shingala. I can't get away from here myself. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, pal. We'll do it. We'll be back. But even if we do find this beach where the Shigura are, how are we gonna find the medicine? It might help if we could talk to the other Shigura. Maybe we can. I got an idea. Huh? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Luna Lab! Yep. I bet they can knock something together that'll let us talk to the sea dragons. I bet you're right. <laughs> okay, so we've got another objective. Go back to Luna Labs. So, I'm going to do just that and see where we go from there. A little bit ways off before the, um, we can actually get that, uh, scoop that, uh, we can just pretty much take a picture of the evening sun here. Alrighty, back to Luna Lab we go. Let's try the build, blue building first. There we go. Hey there, I'm Dr. Nog. I'm the head researcher here. But you're a... I know what you're thinking. What's a kid doing in a place like this, right? Yeah, how come? You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This lab relies on sheer ability. The more brains you have, the higher your position. It's only natural. Uh-huh. So that means you're the smartest person here then? I guess you could say that. By the way, I know about you folks recovering the origin points Griffin destroyed. And now you're on a quest to restore the world. I just had the computer run an analysis. I even know what you're searching for. What? Really? A device to talk to sea dragons, right? Huh? Don't you want to go 10,000 years in the past? Mm. Oh, well that too. But first we need a machine to let us talk to those sea dragons. A Shigura translation device. We already have one of those. Well, there's one already? Yes, Shigura are very important creatures to us here at the lab. Once a year, they come from the South Island to the shore here. When they do, they bring a stone called the Luna Stone with them. That stone has the mysterious ability to rapidly increase human brain power. Whoa. 
thanks to the Luna Stone, this lab is home to the world's best thinkers. So it's vital that we be able to communicate with the Shigura too. And that's why we've already developed the Shigura translation device. Hey, you! Yes, sir? Go get me the shell talkie. Yes, sir. Shell talkie. Thanks. Here you go. So we can talk to the sea dragons with this. Well, sort of. You'll only be able to understand Shigura with a comparatively high level of intelligence. Not Shigura children, for example. I guess that means a chat with Shingala is out. Thanks, Dr. Knob. We'll be back. See you then. Okay then, so we have a way to communicate with the other sea dragons. Dr. Knob is talented, of course, but hard working too. I just pale in comparison. I'm like an al albino. <laughs> okay. It's all about ability here at the at this lab. With the right ability, even a little kid could be the top dog here. Yeah, we can see that. We're in the middle of discussion of some highly confidential research. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Rude. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, but we're in the middle of discussion of some highly some highly confidential research. We can't really talk about. Really talk with you standing there, so <laughs> okay. Get the picture. Right now that we got the uh, shell talking, odd name. We can uh, we can talk to the sh Shingora, but of course not the children. Just uh, so in other words, we have to talk to adult Shingora. Okay then, so let's. Head back to the uh, present, and uh, we'll head straight to Ocean Draw Cave again. I think in this episode I'll only have enough time to do one floor here. So I'm very sorry for the lack of action of this one, guys. But then again, we actually made a bit more progress. Uh, I just wish I can actually uh, make better uh, thumbnails for the videos here, but. Sadly, that's beyond even my skill. <laughs> well, with that being said and done, let's actually hold on a quick moment, sorry. I know, I know, I know, I'm doing just going around in random circles here, but 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 I want to see if I can make the samurai arms here. And I need quite a lot of thick hide. 10 scrap metal, 10 rolling logs. So I'll quickly do this and uh, I'll meet you guys back here. So I will I will be right back. Alrighty people, we are back. Now I've got enough materials here to make the samurai arms. So let's make that. To be as good, not as quite as good as the um, cannibal arms when it comes to hitting certain enemies, but it will deal with multiple enemies. The cannibal arm is more useful for like uh, smash attacks, dealing with enemy armored enemies, while the um, samurai arm there is useful for other enemies as well. Oh, I'm going to be needing some copy for this. And I need more red paint. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I get some more chocolate. Oh boy. Well, I had this all planned out, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so. Gonna be needing about 12 more pieces of chocolate. Yeah, so I wanna make the clown arms because I wanna see how they act in comparison to the cannibal arms. If they're the same, or do they have a different attack style? You have to check this stuff out, guys. Alright, so let's go quickly go to the uh, Bounce Valley and uh, find some paint there.
Yeah, that's me offering a ball of soft drink. And that's the thing. Uh, the difference between good cultures is uh, calling uh, carbonated drinks different things. Like, in Australia here, we call them soft drinks. And over in America, you guys call it sodas. But what about the other cultures too? Do British call them soft drinks or sodas? I don't know. I don't really know, but it's just... The naming thing is really... Really unique, because... Uh, I know the Brits like to call them uh, Mackies. Australia's called Macca, well, like McDonald's, sorry, McDonald's I'm talking about. We, uh, we call it Maccas. I think the Brits call it Mackies. And uh, I think uh, you American, Americans call it Mickey D's. I, I don't really know. It's just uh, some stuff I heard from uh, different YouTubers and all that. Okay, so that's it for the red paint. So let's just make these real quick. And cannibal on free. Now remember, the higher number for the uh, different parts, the stronger they are. With that all said and done, let's quickly head to uh, to the Ocean Draws Cave. We're starting off at the uh, Cave of the Ancient Murals. And again with the whole naming thing, like, some people like to call it a pathway and others call it a sidewalk. It's just all a matter of culture, really. Anyway, take a picture of this. Different cultures, it may seem differently, like, I know there are some people out there that like to argue that their way of saying it is right, like, I know that we, some people spell color differently, like, like there's C O L A R, while at the same time there is C O L U A R. Shit. <laughs> wow. I think we just have differences because some people just love to argue all the time. You know what I mean? Okay, so we've got Wandering Zappy. And defeat all enemies uses Max's right hand weapon. We can do that. And we got the White Seal, which means we can't heal. Ooh, I'm gonna have to be careful here, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, better make sure I actually do have that uh, script from Shingala. Yep. Confirm pictures. Yep, puppet Shingala. Okay. Don't see any enemies at the moment. It's a bit weird. Ah, oh, there's there they are. Come on, come closer. Okay, so we've got an electric element there. Come on, Zappy. Him. And we've got a fish over here. I'm not going to repair the wrench dash yet, so... Thank you for that. Got two chill stones. Silly enough, actually, I thought the uh, chill stones were needed for like the like all the uh, throwable el elements and all that. I thought those 
we needed those for the to uh, get the uh, gem rods. Yeah, I know, not the uh, actual element items. I thought it was actually the stones, not the elements. Where the hell silly am I? Okay, this area is a lot smaller than the previous room, so we need to move around. Okay, I'm just going to repair my uh, stuff real quick. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot to repair Steve too. Ugh. Okay, so we've got some life element. Somebody tells me one of these is going to be a mimic, I just know it. So we've got a protector crystal. Yep, I fall, so. Yeah, I knew it was going to be like this. Lucky I was able to get him before he bit me again. Well, not again, but you you know what I mean. Before he tried to take another bite at me. That's it, yeah. Sometimes it's just... Sometimes I know what I want to say, but I just don't use the right wording and phrasing, you know? Oh my god, really? Oh god, no, 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 no. Back away, back away. Ah, great. This is not what I was hoping for. Okay, be careful. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I'm gonna check the upper room real quick. Let's see if I can bait this one. All right. Good. Oh bloody hell! Just cram every enemy into one room, shall we? That's just not good. Sugar. Now it tells us we have the magic crystal. So now because it's the magic crystal. Oh my god, how many enemies do you have to jam-pack jam into one small room? Come on, just charge at me. What are you, a coward? Too bad I can't use that slope. Come on, I'm over here. This will wear off soon.
Get a bit wild at one, aren't you? Okay, so we've got the Lunar Stunt, the Lunar Stunt as well. Now the question is, we're trying to lure these guys away from each other. Come on. Come on, just play for me, please. Okay, so the goo effect rolled off, and goodness we're done. Right, let's head down to the uh, lower, lower rooms and get the job done. Stone. Excuse me. <clears throat> On the other side, somebody's chance to mimic. Yep. Grab this and go for the uh go for that enemy I'll just up near the uh, exit. We'll do it before get that one before we open the chest there because you never know. Okay. Be a bit more careful. Okay, so it wasn't a mimic, thank goodness for that. Carrying my gear. Now let's go get those last two enemies. Okay, so it looks like this one here is blocked by uh by but not a barrier. Ugh, got hit by sticky again. Oh no, I didn't. Alright, that takes care of you guys. My seal's broken. Okay, let's have a quick match here. <laughs> Just one hit. Okay, so hopefully. I'm not that incompetent to screw this up, but knowing me, I probably am. So, okay, that was easy enough. Because if I didn't make this shot, I was literally going to lose it. Because it was just right there in front of me. Speaking of which, how many distortions did I actually fix? Because remember, we got a character, char side character that we can uh, recruit if we uh, get rid of ten distortion. Uh, okay, so it doesn't actually tell us. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, some level up powder. Alright, so we're gonna go back this way and make our way to the next floor. Do 
excuse me. Alrighty, where are you? Where are you? What? Yep. And the next floor is called Banquet of the Dead. Oof, okay, that's a bit it's gruesome. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave. Not because I'm scared or anything, but because we're running all on time, guys. I'm already at the 50 minute mark on my timer. Okay, so let's check out the GS thing real quick. And we need got a purple iron house. Uh, Shingara vi in Shingura Village saved. And that's about it. Well, we got the purple paint, so it might as well. Okay, there's been a change in the future. Okay, that's good to know. We'll have to check it on the next episode, guys, because, again, we're short on time, but... Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and uh, show support for the channel. I would really appreciate it. With all being said and done, thank you all once again, and I hope you all have a good day. Take care of yourselves, and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye. And bye.